All right, after days and days of trying to get Darkfall, I finally managed to get a copy on Monday. So here's video of uh, my first day playing. Of course, you start out in the uh, character creation screen. There are six races to choose from. There's the humans, the dwarves, the elves, as usual. Uh, there's orcs, uh, dark elves, and like these dog people, I don't know, f for furries, you know. Anyways, so I am going to play a human. I like the way uh, humans look in this game. Better than Vanguard, at least. The customization options aren't too bad. I wish they had a, uh, a body customization, though. Like uh, height and weight, you know. Another thing I don't like about this game is that you have to have a first and last name and normally I just name my guy Vaz and I can't think of a good last name so I'm just gonna put Hammerface <laughs> Vaz Hammerface because I like to use hammers and here I am starting in one of the human cities which I like to call Asshole Land no I'm just kidding sort of they give you a little welcome to Darkfall message which shows you the controls and stuff um, the controls are like the typical first person third person shooter type of game it's a little different from most uh, MMORPGs but it's pretty easy to figure out the user interface is pretty easy to figure out as well although the only complaint I have is the chat box I think it could use some work and the chat channels so you start out with nothing but this little crappy leaf blade weapon and uh... oh, who's that? Hello! I'm just kidding. 300 pound guys behind the keyboard aren't my type, sorry. You can also crouch and be sneaky. Uh, it makes less noise when you walk. That's pretty much it. There's no stealth, like normal stealth in this game because you can't um... You can't move the camera around your character. You're always in either first person view or if you take out a weapon then you're in a third person view. And you can't spin the camera around like you can in most MMORPGs unless you're uh, I believe if you're on a mount you can or if you're resting you can. Here are a couple of the spells. Everyone starts with uh, a heal spell and mana missile. They don't require regents to cast or anything. Um, they do require a, a wand though, a magic wand. Which they don't give you. Hey look, it's a guard. Actually it's just a statue because NPC guards don't exist. Macky Mac Mac. Um, yeah, there's no real NPCs except for the shopkeepers. Um, guards, there's no guards but there's guard towers that shoot like little lightning bolts at people. Hey look, it's the chosen one. He will save us all. And yeah, there's some crazy names in this. And there's the guard tower zapping some people. Some greys. When you um, hit someone, you turn gray for 10 seconds. If you hit someone twice, then you turn gray for, I believe, two minutes. And if you hit someone again, then I think it's 10 minutes. If you kill someone that's blue, um, you lose uh, alignment points. And if you lose too much of that, then you turn red until you can uh, get your alignment points back up to blue, you know. Yeah, I suck at explaining. But anyways, to uh, get gain alignment points, you kill reds or grays or enemy races. There's uh, three factions. The humans, dwarves, and elves are uh, allies. Then the orcs and uh, the furries are allies. And then the dark elves are by themselves because no one likes dark elves. Except WoW fanboys. Yeah, this video is pretty boring so far. I'm sorry. Oh, hey, look, someone trying to kill a gray. Let's see if he succeeds. Oh, no, the gray turned blue. The graphics in this game are pretty nice. 
in my opinion anyways and um especially for a small company i think the shadows and lighting effects are like some of the best i've ever seen in an mmorpg a word of advice is do not do the starting quests from the npcs they like send you to kill some goblins but that's just where all the pks look for people to kill or there'll be like four goblins and then ten people trying to kill them all so it's not even worth going to those spots just explore the world there's plenty of spots to fight despite what some people might think the world is not empty I mean it's kind of empty but there are a lot of good spots with monsters to fight there's just not monsters every five feet from you you have to actually go out and look for them you know I knew this right away so I just I didn't even bother going after the goblins I just went exploring and I found this uh, nice cemetery place which has some undead I found a zombie warrior here and it looks like he spotted me that's another thing different about this game than other MMORPGs is like the aggro radius you know it's as if they can see you and then they attack you it's not like if you get within 15 feet of them or something and here's my first fight which I was quite nervous about because there's also no um, like you know how in other MMORPGs there's colors for the, the monsters like blue is easy white is equal, yellow is hard um, they don't have that in this game it's just you have to figure it out oh and there's blood on my body when you fight, like when you get hurt, I guess. It's pretty cool. And I won. Woohoo! Zombie warrior rests in peace. More like pieces. <laughs> and I got a mace and a helmet. Which is great for me because I like blunt weapons. And here's where the fear and paranoia sets in because when you die you lose everything like everything on you drops on your corpse and anyone could pick up um, the things in your body so everyone tries to kill you basically unless they unless they don't want to turn red but there's ways around that so you gotta be cautious of everyone you can't trust anybody in this game and here's my first mistake, is fighting while I was half hit points. So I'm about to die. Right after I got this nice mace. And you start back at your bind stone. Naked, with the crappy leaf blade. But, screw that. I'm going back to try and get my stuff. And thankfully, no one saw my corpse. So I get all my stuff back. Hooray. I killed a few more and uh, got a piece of armor. And this guy is doing magic. Let's see if he drops his wand. And yes, he does. Also, as you can see, um, the looting is just like Ultima Online, if you ever played that. Now I can heal and cast Magic Missile. Here I am just uh, exploring, looking for stuff to fight, checking out the scenery. And uh, I look around a lot because you have to watch your back watch out for PKs which is cool though because um, I like having that feeling of danger around you know 
makes the game challenging. Just like the old UO days, Ultima Online. And just like Ultima Online, this is a skill based game. There are no levels, it's all based on skills, and the more you use a skill, the more it will raise. So that's why I was uh, casting spells while I was running, just to help build up lesser uh, magic. But it's also not really good to do that because uh, sound plays a big part in this game, and like there might be PKs around and they could hear me casting magic missile, you know? And they'll be like, oh, fresh meat. <laughs> 